Okay, people. Now we have obtained Ak Dracula's heart. It's time to go and kill him. Now the locals will put us on his boat and we will start our journey where we will be encountering fish head people known as the Deep Ones. This is eventually yes, taken from Lovecraft. But what the hell is one of the most creepiest monsters which is being used by everyone and one more thing, the last thing you want to fuck is a mermaid. Okay, now we've come into another part of Dracula's castle. Which let's put it this way, how big is this goddamn castle? Never mind it's Dracula, I think if all the money would be all the castles in the world. Yeah you know, the idea of Transylvania does make sense. Why don't Dracula just quit this let's say monster kill monster harming people, blood sucking thingy? And so let's say go take care of let's say do some holiday or let's say Yeah, tourist tourist industries. I mean you guys are undead, you guys are technically not affected by the COVID-19 virus, which should not be a big deal. Okay now we will be hacking these monsters here and there and walking in this palace we are being annoyed by bats. And here we are fighting death once again. Yeah, we will be fighting this death time to time again. And since he's dead, technically he cannot die, he is the master of death. Most likely we just send him to hell, he's get annoyed and come back again, where our children will be killing him. Just imagine bringing your kids to work and then say, see that's that, our job is to kill him, next time you should to kill him. Okay, let's see what part you obtain over here. Okay, using this magical stuff, I work. And what part will I be getting this time? Okay, what else, what else, chocolates, eyeball. Should it be eyeballs? I mean, both eyeballs only have one eye. Don't tell me it's, let's say, a little pirate like that with only one eye. Yeah, ha! A little bit like Captain Hook or Don John Silver. Never mind. But, oh, that is bad. Oh, never mind. Just ignore him. You walk away. No, there are a lot of these balls actually. You don't have to kill. Just walk by and just ignore you. Because the idea is actually obtain Dracula's parts and then you can kill him. So, killing those balls may not be your priority unless you want to challenge yourself which I sometimes admit is not really that necessary okay now we just walk past these people with walking sticks and hopefully some people may ask can we go into those houses sorry this NES we do not have too much memory going to those houses are let's say impossible but we can go into a temple not a temple it's more like a church okay talking to this nun rest here for a while okay this rest is important you can see it does let's say fill up my health points which is yeah one of the good things over here i mean in the first game there's no let's say recharge of your health but unless you defeat a boss and you let's be given a large sum of let's say health which not necessarily fill up your health and give you one last sum but if you have lost too much it will not fill everything up but over there you can just go to the temple and it fills it up now just to let you know one thing this is the additive part of being given to the game. The original game, you just go into the temple for no good reason. Just that you know, that's why we have updates. It does make the games much more easier and slower. Now you can notice, unlike other platform games where you have only three shots and you're dead, this one actually gives you a long life bar with lots of dots. This is one of the games that actually started this kind of idea where your life bar can be say slightly harm, majorly harm, or let's say deadly harm. It's not like old days with one hit and that's one and that's it. Which I admit is kind of a bullshit. Now I need to find where the hell is the whole ah that is. Alright now why is you hiding in the never mind. Okay now I give him the Lauren then what do you give me? Okay, getting the powers and I'll be off to the next boss. Now then one thing I need to say if you young players find this walking up and down annoying and tiring this game may not suit you but this is what happens when you play this castlevania you need to walk around get the right stuff and let's say give the right stuff to a certain area which can be tiring sometimes but actually the walking length is kind of okay it does not let's say overstay its welcome for me for other people i mean overstay its welcome now you see something cool here okay here comes the tornado and you pick me up where I can go to fight Dracula. Seriously. All this while, that's what the. <laughs> that's how we fall and fight Dracula. So that's why you cannot actually go directly to fight Dracula because it's not in this dimension, it's far, far away and you have to be picked up by a wind, which doesn't make sense. I mean, flying in a hurricane doesn't make sense over here. Okay, using the magic water skill, I have, let's say, moved the river down, so I'm jumping under the river, which has another river, which doesn't make sense. 
Okay, hacking in. Okay, going forward. Alright, careful with the jump. A four will be the death, a four will be the death. Okay, okay, hacking through the hole, hacking through the hole. Like that. Okay, go through that. More hacking. Actually, I need to hack through the hole, then people didn't do that. Okay, now, what will be the idea? Okay, morning star to burn away evil. Now, there's one thing I need to point out. The morning star it mentioned here seems just with just a let's say uh, amulet, but actually the morning star is a club. Just that you know, it's a star from the club at the, at the end. And some people will call your wings as actually iron whip with let's say a club or let's say a starship right at the end, which is the design. And now I'll be flying this giant flying face, which I think is Dracula. Yeah, that's Dracula, right? Yeah, I mean his design is so kind of weird. And I'll be using my shield to let's say block him. Now that can see throwing blades and that is the morning star. A very powerful whip. Uh, or based on what the Belmont say, but um just put this way, actually that's not morning star, it's a different thing. Okay. Using the shield to block his attack. Now taking care of Dracula here actually takes time. The movements are predictable, which makes it easy for you to pass if you know how to move. Now some of the younger gamers say hey predictable movement ain't fun. In the old days we don't even know this was a let's say uh let's say a predictable movement. We let's do it, we need to let's say play a couple of times before we know that this is true. So we just they shove it up and consider that is how we play games over that at that time. I mean things were much more simple, tricks riddles were much more on that complex. Not to mention we do not have a safe spot or a safe deploy, let's say safe place for you, let's say save everything, save your progress. We need to finish all of this game in one shot, which is a disadvantage unless you are a rockman which has actually a safe device or like G.I. Joe. Most of the games including Castlevania does not have that. Now with that in mind, can you tell me how the hell are we going to let's say end this game as soon as possible? Now, just that you know, I've already cut down a lot of parts because a lot of things are actually repeating and I'm running out of things to say. So we will be, let's say, see, showing you this part where we'll be collecting parts of Dracula, which I have no idea why we'll be collecting his nail. Shouldn't his fang be a much more important thing? Well, it's not for me to say over here. It's the PNP that they put us. Okay, the curse has killed the London tree. Uh huh. Does it help? Nope, it doesn't help me at all. Why are you telling me that? Okay, can I and I'm below there, I'll just proceed with my way. Eventually I will come to fight Dracula. Oh Dracula. Yeah. Some people may say it is stupid ridiculous. I've collected all Dracula parts and I put them all together to let them form to Dracula. And I it would be better if I just kill one spot where let me place it form up like Voltron. Yeah, that would be a good idea, but eventually he will remove the fun part of the game, doesn't it? Well, now this Dracula's movement is kind of interesting, kind of fun, just that you know, sometimes you don't know what to do, right? You just go and tank him, okay? By tanking, you see who have a better attack and who can last longer. Just make sure you move your whip as fast as possible, and that's it. Dracula is killed, and I pay homage to my loved ones. The Counter with Dracula. No, this, I mean, this is kind of slow. So, Simon Belmont. Yes, he put the end to the fight. And then, that's the end of the second game. Which you know Dracula is not dead and be coming back in the curse of Dracula and boy you guys have no idea what we'll be dealing with when we will be let's say looking into that one and by the way someone important will be coming out then so see you on the next show
Oh, seriously, Dracula, you cannot wait until the third game. You need to be so impatient to come out now. Man. 